Hello, it's Marissa from Marissa Mom. If you are new, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Excuse the background noise. My son's playing with his kitchen stuff uh, just over there. So it's a little bit loud. The mic's probably gonna pick it up. So if you can hear stuff in the background, I apologize. There it goes. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading a video every single Friday. If you're following along with Vlogmas, thank you so much. I think I made it today 9 out of 12, because I was only planning on doing 12 days of Vlogmas, but the last few days got a bit busy just because I was cramming in a bunch of work because now I'm off for like a week or so while the doctors are away. But I don't think I did too bad for my first ever Vlogmas. And as a new channel, it's definitely stressful. I don't know how people upload more than once a week because that was like way too much time editing and recording and going through. So everyone that does do that more than once a week, like I give you so much credit. Congrats to you guys. Today's video is gonna be, I guess, a recap of 2020. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about my New Year's resolutions. All right, so first we're gonna talk about 2020. What a crazy, crazy year it has been. So I guess just to kind of like summarize what this year has been like for us. We did some house shopping before the pandemic, got possession during a pandemic. Tuan had a pretty awesome season uh, for his like second year in the NFL, getting to start some games and being on the active roster for the entire season. And on top of that, coming out of it healthy. Now I guess to talk a little bit on like the pandemic side of it, I think it's been different for every single person. Mano! Sorry, the mailman came. It's chaos in this house when the mailman comes. I don't remember what I was talking about. For us, um, the pandemic actually worked out kind of good. Um, we gotta, we gotta spend some extra time together. So I know that's such a small trivial thing. You know, there's a lot of job insecurity. Like we didn't know what was happening with the NFL season. Obviously, that's. Vaughn's main source of income. So in that aspect, it was a little bit scary. Just went through the whole housing aspect and then the uncertainty of if there's gonna be an NFL season or not, like will Tuan have a job for the rest of 2020? But it worked out really good. They still did OTA and said he got to stay home and do it and they just did Zoom meetings. So we actually got to spend that extra like two months together. It was a bit harder of a year last year, just adjusting to how the NFL works because we got used to the CFL and how, how that was. Plus it's no problem for me to travel kind of all over Canada, um, whereas Flying down to the US was a little bit harder. Uh, I can only legally be down there for six months at a time. Plus Elijah was school age, so he started junior kindergarten last year. So it was, it was a harder year. So this year was awesome because we got to spend that extra two months of OTAs together. We got to enjoy the house and really settle in. <laughs> So for us, the pandemic definitely has been a time to really be grateful for what we have, um, especially on my end of it. Uh, yes, it is hard with Tuan being gone, obviously. Sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm such a baby. Sorry, anytime I talk about like my family, it just makes me like, <laughs> it makes me tear up and get super emotional. I should have like rehearsed this. I could have got my crying done earlier. But yeah, I guess people don't realize it is really hard um, especially in our situation being like a part, I say I'm a part-time single parent at times. I've been surrounded by amazing people. I've had so much support um, just outside of Tavon, you know, with our families. So I'm always forever grateful for all of that. I've gone to do a lot of really cool things the last few years. So this year was really a year for all that to kick in and it really like sunk in just how grateful um, I am. And we've always worked really hard on keeping that relationship between Elijah and Tuan strong because that's his dad and he looks up to him so much. And I know it's hard on Tuan because he's gone a lot as well. And so when Tuan was gone this year for the actual season, Elijah actually got so used to him being home and around that it was really hard for him. The first month or so he would cry a lot. Sorry, I don't know why I'm so like emotional. I swear, it's not like hormones or anything. <laughs> I'm just a big baby, but it was really hard. Okay, well, that's just gonna snap me out of it. Mano! Mano! Yeah, it was really hard. He broke down a few times saying, you know, he misses his dad and stuff. And that's when we started doing more of the FaceTiming. Elijah has his own phone. Like, there's no plan on it or anything. 
it's just connected to the Wi-Fi. But he was able to call Tavon whenever they would FaceTime a lot. Um, all the work we put in the last, you know, four years really did work to build their bond still, where Elijah's still really close with his dad. Also with our dog, we had a bit of a scare with him. He got really sick and we didn't know that he was sick. His energy was just really low. He just kind of, I guess, wasn't himself. So we just thought like maybe he was kind of like depressed because it was the longest that we'd been back in Regina to visit him. And so when we brought him out here, we ended up having to take him to the vet because the first night that we like had him here, his nose was bleeding. And I remember waking up, it was probably like six in the morning. And cause both Tuan and I could just hear like licking. So we went to check and there was blood on the floor. So he was licking up the blood and like licking his nose. So then I had like a little mini like heart attack and I was like breaking down and crying, of course. <laughs> and I was really sad, I had to call my mom and I was like, Mondo could be dying, like we didn't know what was wrong with him. Uh, so Tuan got up, took him to the vet. They did a bunch of tests and they found out like nothing was wrong with him. So we took him back home, but then for a week straight, his nose kept bleeding. And it was mainly just when he was like sleeping, like he'd be laying down um in yeah, the middle of the night or if he was like laying down and having a nap like every once in a while his nose would just start bleeding so Tuan took him to a different vet and we found out that he most likely had a fungal infection again they weren't really sure uh if we wanted to do more tests of course it would have cost a lot more money so we decided to put him on antibiotics instead and he was better within like two days it was such a huge improvement so we were like okay he did just have a fungal infection 100% healthy, which was so nice to hear because he is nine years old, uh, turning 10 in 2021. And this is kind of the age where dogs have problems. So I remember like talking to my mom, so I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> but I remember like, talk, cause I called my mom that morning when Tuan took him to the vet and she was like, you know, if Mondo is gonna be passing away, it's good that he's with you guys now. And you can spend the last bit of time with him. It was, again, just even that, like a reminder. Just being so grateful to have our whole family together, right, you know, with me, Tavon, uh, Elijah, and our dog, all in the same house. And just seeing Elijah's bond with Mondo, um, they're literally thing one and thing two. They're crazy. All right, okay, I'm done crying for now. So that was our 2020. In the end, we are so lucky to be in the position that we're in. You know, Tavon's worked really hard to get here. We've made a lot of sacrifices along the way. So to be where we are now, um, forever grateful and I'm always looking forward to what comes next. So that brings us to resolutions. Pretty much since Elijah's been born, I've always told myself every year that I want to do something that's outside of my comfort zone. So pretty much for 2021, I still want to keep doing stuff that pushes me outside of my comfort zone. And just a small part of that will be just growing my social media. Anyone that does follow me on social media or like friends and family that you guys know me, I'm like, I don't post up a whole lot. And that goes for both Tuan and I. That's pretty much just mainly based off of like Tuan's career, being a professional athlete, where it's kind of nice to have a private life <laughs> outside of, you know, the public spotlight. But I guess that's why I started a YouTube to show more of like the private side that we haven't really shown anybody. But I will be a bit more active on my social media, posting a bit more. Um, I know Tuan as well is gonna be a lot more active. He has a Twitch, so he's gonna be building a gaming computer so that he can stream on Twitch a lot more because uh, he likes to play computer games. So I'll let him discuss all that stuff later. What are you doing back there? I want paper towel. Okay. You use all that paper towel already? Also, I have like a flyaway eyelash. I'm all this crying. So obviously that glue did nothing. I might as well just take it off. I'm gonna end up watching back the playback and be like, why did I wear fake eyelashes today? Knowing that I was probably gonna talk about things that are gonna make me cry. But basically that's gonna sum up my 2021. But of course, as the year goes on, 
if there are other things that pop up that are outside of my comfort zone, I do want to take those opportunities. But that's it for today's video. I feel like if I talk anymore, I'm just going to keep rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had an amazing year and I hope it's an even better 2021. We're going into it with a lot of uncertainty and just not knowing what's going to happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to keep up with our family. Swan's home really soon. And there will be a lot more videos of us together because I'm going to force him to do videos. So. Be prepared, Juan. <laughs> happy New Year and happy holidays. Bye.